Welcome to a special edition of Drone and Phone. Not in the brightest of circumstances. We're here to talk about the tragedy that happened in Gansu uh, last weekend. It's very close to us because if it hadn't been for the pandemic, the likelihood is that either Jack, myself, or possibly George would have been there filming it. So Jack, what happened? Um, well, uh, first of all, um, we pay our uh, tribute to those um, 21 runners died in this um, unfortunate event. Um, it's a trial running race, 100K. Uh, total of 172 um, runners participated. Um, they got caught with extreme weather at between the checkpoint two and four at higher ground, like about uh, 2,000 meters above sea level. Um, plus rain, heavy wind, hail, all together. Yeah. So um, because of weather from the previous three edition of this race, and people were talking about how to uh, to be sunproof, yeah, with sun lotion and all yeah. that. Then lots of them didn't wear much, just yeah. like t-shirt and shorts. Well, we know that from covering these races, in fact, doing these races ourselves, that when you're trail racing, you often want to get as light as possible. But in this particular instance, as you said, the sudden weather change, in fact, at checkpoint three is at 2,000 meters. That's about double the height of Lantau Peak or Tai Mo Shan. So imagine, well that's normally when we cover the race as a, as a reporter, that's yeah. where we go. Yeah. So at a certain point it was nearly zero, was reported. Yeah. This is where it really sort of touches us on drone and phone is that where we specialize in covering these events as opposed to a lot of other camera crews is that we always go very light, drone and phone, uh, and we try to reach the places where other people can't go. And I'm sure that if we had been covering this race, that that checkpoint three at 2,000 meters would have been the place where we would have headed um, to try to, to meet people. So again, it has hit incredibly hard. Well, within the 21 runners that died, there were big names and people that we know personally having covered them before. Yep. Um, tell us about them. Um, well, let, let's start with Liang Jing. So he's one, one of the best trail runners in, in mainland China. He took a um, uh, Hong Kong 100 race here uh, a couple of times. He, he got disqualified once, uh, then he came back, which I really uh, admire that, and he got second place. It was very, very strong performance, um, and people love him uh, for that, yeah. you know, and sadly, he, he passed away. Yes, uh, and we know this guy because he's a very aggressive runner and quite an incredible, uh, powerful man yeah. as he used to run, uh, a, a huge loss. Um, tell us a little bit about your thoughts Actually, the little climate locally, especially on that hill at checkpoint three, basically changed everything. Yeah. You never know what will happen. Yes, we know that somebody died, unfortunately, here in Hong Kong as well at the weekend, probably from heat exhaustion as far as we understand. And it's a, a very important reminder that whether it's trail running or anything else, that Mother Nature can change very quickly uh, and we have to always account for that and make sure we bring extra things. We hope that this kind of tragedy doesn't happen again, obviously. There's also eight people, as we know, that were taken uh, to hospital as a result of this. Uh, we are sure more will come of this. We know that there's an official investigation into it, but for now, our condolences go out to all of the friends and family of the people that were lost and we wish a speedy recovery for those that are in hospital as a result of this.